There's a new development going up in northeast Albuquerque. It's kind of like green jeans. We've actually been telling you about it for about a year now. Yeah, but since that announcement, many have wondered, what's the hold up there? We sent our Brittany Costello to find out tonight. And Brittany, that developer tells you things are kind of moving again. Yeah, Tessa, Steve, they're expecting to lay foundation at the Tin Can Alley site this week. And this is what's going up off of Alameda and San Pedro. And though there have been a few delays over the coming months, you'll start to see it taking shape. I'm standing right in Santa Fe Brewing. The entrance is right here. It's hard to picture beyond the holes and color-coded markers, but the developer of Tin Can Alley, Roy Solomon, says this is the vision. Twelve shipping containers creating two levels. And that big hole in the ground is the elevator pit, actually. Oh. Okay. And so there'd be a shipping container, 40-foot hike. Home to a dozen different local businesses and a million-dollar view all in one spot. We've got a little bit more food and definitely more rooftop patio. It's all the things that everyone has been looking for. We're just going to have a little bit more of it. Tin Can Alley developers broke ground late last year with the goal of opening at the end of the summer. That date has been changed, but Solomon says everything is now moving forward. The concrete will go in and uh, from there there will be the steel erection to get the steel and all the plumbing and electrical go in underground. While they do that, the new tenants are making their own preps. The Green Jeans inspired complex will feature many of the same spots. And we're really trying to maximize speed um, and our efficiency and everything that way. Gabriel Amador, owner of Amore Neapolitan Pizzeria, has been working on his design for a new container over the past year. He says he's even shipping in a new 7,000 thousand pound handmade oven from Italy. With the mix that we're going to have in there, I think that uh, we're going to have a little bit more synergy as far as with our flow in, in the building and that kind of stuff. We're really focusing on that. The updated timeline for opening is now January or February of next year. Solomon says there will be four entrances and to ease congestion on Alameda, they are adding an additional lane. We have a list of all those businesses coming on our website, KOB.com. Steve Tessa.